Good morning everybody so as you can see it's 3 20 in the morning and i have my oatmeal i'm actually going to eat this on my way to the gym because we're training legs and basically i don't want to die so here's breakfast for today it's just half a cup of oats a scoop of protein and some sugar-free syrup with one tablespoon of peanut butter and let's get going out of the gym it is 5 a.m it is still dark outside you can probably see and my workout was fantastic um my coach is really he's good people he knows what he's doing it's a good time so i already ate breakfast as you saw when i was on the way here so don't need to worry about that and quite frankly i'm not hungry at all so i'm going to head home stay hydrated change my clothes get ready for the day sorry it's dark in here is that better? No, but thought somebody was calling me. I feel so good, you guys. Definitely working out at this time is for me, like 150%. <sighs> and now we drive. 2,000 years later. So I just got friggin' poured on on my way from my client to my car. And now I'm soaking wet. This Miami summer stuff, guys. It is intense. You never know when it's gonna rain. So, took a shower this morning and basically I'm 
I'm soaking wet now and I'm gonna have to change my clothes again, but it is what it is. At least I parked close. Thank freaking God. Can you imagine? I'm waiting for my client to get here and I just wanted to touch on something that's come up so many times today and that is consistency and compliance. So when you have a plan, when you have your macros, when you have your goals and the things that you need to get done each and every day to move forward, you have to be compliant to those things and you have to be consistent. Do it well and do it often. I think that this is so overlooked and just because you have a plan and just because you have things that you want and that you're working towards in the general picture of things if you're not working enough if you're not doing it over and over if you're not being fully compliant to your diet plan or your macros or hitting your protein intake you're not going to get the results you're not it's impossible that's why you set those metrics for yourself so that you have something to go off of so you know how much protein you need so you know how many times you have to do cardio so if you are skipping sessions if you're skipping meals or if you're overeating if you're if you know if your goal is to cut those are the things that are going to make the difference and that's what's something that helps me kind of when i get hungry or i get frustrated or i feel like i'm not doing you know i don't know why i'm doing what i'm doing because it's you know sometimes can be a lot and that is you have to be compliant because if you're not compliant then what's the point you know if you're not fully compliant if you're not a hundred percent compliant to what your what your plan is then you're not doing anything so that sounds a little extreme and i feel like it is and when you have a goal it kind of has to be that way you have to be like dialed in and and really just like this is what i'm doing and i'm gonna do it as best as i can because otherwise you're really not giving yourself the the best shot you're the fairest opportunity so that's just something i've been thinking about and i wanted to tell you guys because i think it's so important that you remember that I am still working on my iced coffee and I'm just waiting for her to get here. Once she's here, we're gonna go train and then I am so hungry. I had breakfast at three in the morning and it's 10. So after this, I'm gonna have meal number two and I'm so ready. So I'll show you guys what that is and um, we'll see how the day takes us. Not much planned today, just work and gym and food and you know, you know the deal. There's nothing like the sight of your lunchbox when you're freaking starving. I have some G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, the sweet and spicy. It's okay. It's not my fave. And then I've got my chicken, rice, and veggies. I have a bell pepper because that's all I had left. And I haven't gone shopping yet, so I'm going to eat that right now. Let me take the lid off so you guys can see. Da-da-da. I have some Middle Eastern seasoning on that chicken, and it is bomb. That's what lunch looks like. It's 11.30 right now. So, you know, one of the things about, like, being in a calorie deficit is sometimes you use liquids to keep your mind off of eating, right? So like I drink a lot of coffee and my greens and I'm drinking a gallon of water a day right now. So all I do basically every single day is just pee a million times a day. So I just went to Walgreens because I had to pee and I have a few minutes before I have to go to work, but I also got some stuff that I don't need. So I'm going to show you. It's not that much, but I got a new brow pencil because I don't have a brow pencil. I lost mine somewhere. And then I got a mascara because I don't have a mascara in my gym bag. And I like to keep one there for emergency situations. And then I got this, which looks pretty cool. I'm going to use right now. It's the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Body Butter Stick. So I can't tell you the number of times that I feel like my legs and my knees look ashy and I don't have any lotion. So this is going to be awesome. I'm like really excited to use this. So yeah, that's what I did. Spent $30 that I didn't need to spend and now I got to get to work. So yeah. So the moral of the story is if you have to pee, try to do it places that are not going to cost you money because I ended up spending money on this stuff that I didn't really need to spend, but I'm happy about it. So it's all good.
I made some blackening seasoning and I have some mahi fillets and we're just gonna pop these in the air fryer. I sprayed it with some oil and let's go.